for this saw, I'm going to try to cut this, edit it down to a 15 minute deal. We got a 365 X torque, which is a 372 X torque. They have just detuned it um, basically by plugging up the transfers. Um, I'm going to try to show how to convert it basically um, a 365 to a 372 and it'll be identical power. Um, you'll have the low top filter of course. Um, it's kind of like a, an oil debate on which flow is better. I'm not going to get into that. But uh, I'm going to show how you transform a 365 X torque into a 372 X torque. Um, I think this is in the saw market has got to be one of the best buys. You can get one of these for about 600 bucks with a 20 inch guide. 71 cc's it's really tough to beat. Fuel efficient. See if I can break it down in 15 minutes. Okay, this is going to be my baseline stock saw, stock muffler, stock everything. I put an 8 pin on this, 92 drivers, about a 28 inch, uh, the 8 pin, so I can show uh, really where the power is, easier to differentiate. In between, in between the uh, the configurations, so we'll just make a couple cuts with it. stayed in between 7300 7700 um, I'm gonna add one more video at the end of this it's gonna be uh, squish dropped a little bit of alteration to the ports and that'll be the last video okay once you get your carb clear um, your cylinder off basically the difference in the 372 and the 365 is in this cap. Uh, I did this video once already showing the baffles um, and the, basically a separator in here in the transfers. Uh, the video failed. Um, so what I'm going to do here, your cap has a locking Torx bit number 20. You'll need a number 20 bit locking to take these off. They have a rubber o-ring so it is reusable. Just be careful restarting your screws, they're like a self-threading style. Got to get them started straight. When you get yours off, you'll see that there's a baffle that runs from top to bottom splitting the transfer. Um, I already have it removed on this. I, in the other video I showed um, both ways, unfortunately I lost that one. Um, you'll have to remove that baffle, essentially making it a 372. There is no other difference. I'm going to clean this up yet a little bit. I already did test run it. I'm going back in for a, a little bit more work and some correction. But to transform it to a 372, that's all you got to do. Just take that baffle out, clean it up, put her back together. Make sure she's sealed up good. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and, and set the squish on this one a little bit and do some more timing. Uh, I ran it a little bit to get a good pattern to see where see where my scavenge pattern is. It's at, it looks almost perfect. So I'm just going to do a little bit of opening up and, and clean her up a little bit and see if I can get just a little bit more out of it. Okay, this is basically now a 372. Um, the baffles are cut out. That is the only modification to this. The muffler is exactly the same. Squish is the same. All I did was reset the carburetor, um, brought her down, brought her back up to about 13.5, 13.8, somewhere in there. And uh, we'll see what she picked up. <laughs> to 9200 range pretty good for just cutting baffles out